Oh man, guys, it is just so windy out here. I mean, it is just crazy windy, but we're gonna start at the Hellcat here because we're gonna go look at some cars. to go shopping for clothes no, <laughs> no baby for cars we're in the Hellcat we're on our way out to go look at some vehicles we're not gonna be buying anything today but we are gonna be looking at some cars because the next car giveaway isn't really super close from now but of course after the Hellcat we are going to be doing another car that's the plan that's what we're shooting for right now the giveaway is still gonna be on till July 22nd, I believe is the date for the car. That's when the car giveaway ends. So if you haven't done so yet, the 10X entries for the car giveaway actually end today. This is your last day to get 10X entries for the car and the single cab Cummins. So if you haven't done so yet and you wanna to enter to win those vehicles, both links are in the description below. One is obviously for diesel trucks, and the other one says we give away fast cars here. Go check those out. Follow us on the YouTube, the Instagram, all that stuff. But um, yeah, if you want 10X entries, the end today. Now the question is, what car do we get for the next giveaway? Now that gives me some time, July 22nd. That gives me a little bit over a month to really decide what I want to get next and what you guys want next. It's hard to go somewhere else from here. There's a lot of good cars, there's a lot of good options, but it's really tough to top one of the most enjoyable and highlighted American muscle car, but there are definitely more options. There's more cars available. There's a lot of, I mean, the list is endless. I mean, there's Toyota Supras, there's Camaros, there's Corvettes, there's Mustangs, there's the Charger version of this car, you know? Is that an option? I don't know. But there's a lot of options. There's a lot of cars that are really great cars that a lot of people would love to own. Question is, which one interests you guys the most? And also, which one interests me the most? Because I am gonna be owning it for you know, a handful of weeks, almost two months usually at a time, I'll own a vehicle and then it'll be off to one of you guys. So we're gonna go see what we can find or do we wanna get something that's a little bit older so it's out of warranty, older as in like 15 or older than that, you know. Out of warranty, doesn't have a warranty anyway and we can modify and do stuff like that or would that not be of interest to you? So anyways guys, let me know down in the comment section below but let's go look at a couple of vehicles. enough as I accidentally shifted the car into manual mode because I was turning the wheel and bumped the plus and I didn't know how to turn it off and then my wife's like I think you just hold the plus thing because did you say you saw it? It said on the screen to exit down the plus or something. Oh yeah I didn't see it but so I just did it and then it, it got out but um, it was fun but different wasn't really the timing I was expecting to try it out so we're actually headed to look at a Mustang first there's a couple of cars here I want to look at. One's a Cadillac CTS-V, but it's a 2009. And then there's also a 5.0 GT Premium uh, Mustang. And of course they have the different variations. They have the new GT500, the new newer GT350s. Um, then they just have like the GT 5.0, the GT Premium, which is just like a nicer trim package. It's not really any performance. Real, real difference in gains as far as my understanding goes with that car. I was gonna go look at this GT 5.0 Premium just because the numbers are very close to this car and I really like the way this car drives and that doesn't mean that that's gonna be the way the car drives but if the acceleration numbers are very similar to this I would be happy with that because I think it was rated at like 3.7 0 to 60 for the automatic transmissions and this is 3.6 if you can get that out of it you know if you can get traction and you have the right tires you could do that that's what the car has potential um, I've never done that but you know the car's capable of it you know so um, we're gonna go look at this car uh, this one is a six-speed manual though so it's not exactly what I was looking for um, because I love the six speeds don't get me wrong, but especially when it does come to using a camera and driving and you know whatnot, the manuals do get a little bit old. And I'm just gonna say that because I've had lots of manual trucks. They're a lot of fun, they are great. But in my application, and for well, I guess a lot of people just don't drive manual anymore, it does get a little bit annoying sometimes if you're gonna daily drive the car, that is. 
trying to hunt down our next car. I can smell a good deal somewhere around here. You want to know one of the saddest things? I was looking at some of the, uh, it was like the 13, 14, and 15 like Super Duties that on these local lots, like local trades, rotted underneath, most of them. Not all, most of them. Wow, that is sad. Like these trucks are just rotting away here in the Midwest. But we're trying to look for a couple of cars. There was a CTS V. It was an 09 though. It was a little bit on the older side. And then there was a, just a Mustang GT, like a 5.0. The first stop we made on the website, it says vehicles available for the CTS V in the Mustang, the 5.0 that we were gonna look at. But neither of them were out there in the lot. And since I'm not buying today, I'm one of those people that if I'm not buying, I'm not gonna be asking you to pull it out of the showroom floor. I'm not gonna be asking you to get it out and start it up. Let me go for a drive. And like, if I know I'm not going to buy a car from them, I mean, filming it's one thing from the window, but like asking them to go through all these steps when I know I'm not gonna buy their car off that lot, I just don't like doing that. Cause to me that seems, I don't know. I feel like to me it bothers me as if it's a little bit wrong to like test drive somebody's vehicles and then like you already know when you go, they're like, I'm not gonna buy it from you. I have another guy I'm gonna buy from, but I'm just, that's me. But they didn't have them sitting out there, so we're gonna go to a different lot. And they actually, according to their website, again, according to their website, but luckily there's a few different lots over here. But according to their website, this one particular dealer has like five or six 5.0s sitting out. So let's go see, because I know they can't have them all in the showroom floor, so this time we might actually get lucky. Now check this thing out. White. ZL1 Camaro. Now that's a cool car. Over 600, I think like 650 horse. Those things are nasty. Those things are really nasty. They've got all kinds of stuff here. They've got like three Lambos on the showroom floor. They've got McLarens and they've got a Hellcat in there, a purple Hellcat. I mean, they've got all kinds of crap here. I mean, you can look at their lot over here. They, they carry a lot of like kind of hard to get vehicles. Obviously not impossible to get. They're all production cars that they sell here, but like a lot of stuff that's a little bit harder to find. Mercedes, Jaguars, BMWs, all kinds of stuff like that. Anyways, onto the Ford lot. The ZL1 there, that's a cool car. I actually looked at it on, on the Fort Wayne internet search that I did. And I found that car and I was like, that thing is nasty. I think they want 52 or 53 for that one which isn't bad, I think it's got 4,100 miles on it. It's uh, you know, two years pre-owned, but it's a sweet car, that's for sure. So we're gonna get on over to the Ford lot though and see if we can't check out some of these Mustangs because I'm just really interested in seeing these things you know, up close because I really haven't paid attention to them other than uh, right now, you know, in terms of like actually looking at them in person. So we're gonna go do that. Oh look, there's one, just kidding. So there's that's one of those little EcoBoost ones. I think like a turbocharged four cylinder. There's one of their used ones for sale. Now that one's, I like that one. I think, I could be wrong, but I thought it had, maybe it's, an, maybe it's a new one. It's got a window sticker on it, but it could just be the old sticker. Thought that one had cloth interior, but looking at it through the Looks window, like leather. it definitely has leather. So maybe that ad was just typed up wrong. You see the one, now where's the other ones? Cause according to their, you know, website, they had a handful of them here. It's kind of a bummer, I've only seen the one. To their defense, I didn't call ahead, so it's not like, you know, it's not like they were expecting me and they could have told me. I'm just gonna take a peek at it. I'll let you know what I think. You don't mess with that guy, he's in a hurry. We're gonna pull in here, really just to turn around, because I don't wanna do a Yui and nail the curb with this thing. Actually, I don't even have to do a Yui. This parking lot connects over. It goes all the way down to the lot. This is actually a really good idea. Um, anyway, so we're at the O'Daniel section where they've got Porsches and obviously used stuff up here for, you know, Audi, Porsche, Lexus, BMW, obviously a bunch of Dodge stuff, Chrysler, all that stuff, because they've got a brand new dealer here. I think this is where my dad actually bought his Challengers 392, but I'm not sure. Obviously these are just all a bunch of V6s, just some little stuff. They've got some new Rams. I love these trucks. I just really, really like this. I wouldn't mind getting another one. 2019 or 2020 Limited. I'm gonna see what they have out front, and then after that we're gonna swing over to, there's another used dealer over here, and they've usually got some sports cars, not usually a ton, 
but they usually always have some. And then after we go there, across the street, we're gonna go down to the new Chevrolet dealership and see what they have in terms of, you know, Corvettes, Camaro, stuff like that. This truck's been here forever. And I, like, listen, if you have a gas truck that's lifted, that's awesome. But <laughs> if you have the money to buy a brand new truck, don't buy a giant heavy duty 25 or 3500 with massive mud tires and a huge lift. If you're gonna go with a heavy duty, in my opinion, you've gotta get a diesel. That's just, that's just my preference. If you're gonna go with a heavy duty truck and you've got the money to buy one new, go diesel. We went looking for some cars, but unfortunately we could only find a couple. We couldn't find really any of the cars I was really looking for. Unfortunately, apparently the Mustangs that I thought were at that dealership, the same guy owns another dealership in Indy and down on the little tiny fine print in the corner, it says this vehicle is lo located at our Indianapolis location. Cause I was like, where the heck is a car? So apparently that's where they were at, at that you know other Ford dealer where the red Mustang was. We also saw that ZL1. You know, we went and tried to find a couple other Camaros and Corvettes. We just weren't finding anything in a lot of the websites. Like, they're all different locations, but it'll show that they have it. It'll say down in the corner or different things in the description, like, well, this particular vehicle is located at this location of ours in this state or this town or, you know, whatever. I'm like, just, you know, I don't know. I get it. It's a business thing. Like, keep them all at one website so you only have to market one website and not a bunch of different ones. But whatever so anyways we looked at some stuff but let me know down in the comments what you guys would want to see most do you want to see a charger hellcat not the challenger do you guys want to see a corvette do you guys want to see a 392 challenger or charger do you guys want to see a mustang a 5.0 do you want to see a gt350 i mean do you want to like what do you guys want to see next in terms of a car or you know what would you go with for the next car for the channel and for giveaway purposes? Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to enter to win the single cap six-speed Cummins on forces with $5,000 cash or this car right here. Links are both in the description below. You can enter for one or the other or you can enter for both. That's up to you. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace.